What's up, everyone? Um, so, this is just like a small tip. I'm sure a lot of people already know this, but as far as, um, as far as these maps getting a lot harder, there becomes the need for us to be able to make maps when we're not that strong um, that we're able to do it um, and still be able to advance. The simple fact is the higher tier maps are going to give us better stuff and in order to unlock stuff and get our quests done we have to do those higher tier maps. So our normal method we are going to you know be trying to if we're farming for loot we're going to be taking and trying to make the map as good as possible and by as good as possible I mean we're going to be taking and putting quality on it, we're then going to alk it, and then of course we are going to vol it and try to get a really high, um, a really high qu um, quality and quantity, rarity and quantity. So this one is mediocre for a vault map, it's 94%. They go up to like 150. I've only seen a few 150s last season. I did a couple thousand maps on one character getting to level 100, and I maybe saw like a 150 like twice. Um, so that's really rare, but a, a good re a good region is like 120 to 140. That's what I call a good map. Um, most of them should be around 100 um, to 120 is a pretty good average, but and that's assuming quality first doing doing that method so if you're looking for for loot this is the way that you want to do it if you however are trying to farm experience this is not what you want to do because you, you'll probably be dying a lot because you do, can't control the mods that are going to be on the map and the simple fact is having higher quantity and having um, higher item rarity do not do anything for you the monster pack size does. However, if you are trying to level up really fast and you don't want to be dying because that's obviously going to put you back, you want a really easy map. How can we do that and how can we still get a lot of experience? So what we're going to do is first we're going to craft a really easy map. We're not going to use chisels on this. You can use chisels, but it would kind of be a waste it would add some um, pack size to it, um, some rarity, some quantity, but you're really investing chisels into something that you're not going to be getting the maximum benefit out of, so I wouldn't recommend that. What you're going to do is you're going to use alteration orbs until you find mods that are not dangerous, like they gain an endurance charge. That's not bad. If it is only one stat, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with another one. Nemesis mod. That is a good one. Um, and it gives it more rare monsters. That is more pack size, so this is a good one. So now I'm gonna make it a rare. 60% less recovery of life and energy shield. This is a really easy map. We only have a six, plus 16% um, pack size. So you could just run it like this. However, instead of using chisels, since we want pack size, what we can go for is we can go for the cheap sextants. The cheap sextants are mostly going to roll extra monsters. So let's see, what do we get? So we get six additional packs. Six more packs. Three more packs. Six more packs. That is 21 more packs for three maps. That is a lot more quantity than um, chiseling and uh, taking and buffing up this map as as you can see this one's you know 16% size this one is 28% size um, so yeah it's only a 12% increase obviously 21 packs is going to be more if I was farming currency I would still be adding um, mods but on those mods I'm going to be going for you know stuff that's going to be giving me loot I'm going to be using higher tier sextants which I will cover all the best combinations for those for this season in another video this is kind of giving you your two your two choices of methods if you want experience you can make high tier maps so you're getting better experience you can add more quantity through cheap sextants and then you're not investing that much into the map you're still going to get you're still going to get pretty good drops um, that's pretty much all the information, but I will go ahead and 
run a map. Let's see if we... Um, oh, I need... Actually, I'll just... I will run this one. Oh, hey. Oh, it's got to be corrupted. All right, well, I can't... Well, that completely throws throws that out, but because now it's corrupted and it changed it. But I will go ahead and show you. It's still a pretty low um, quality quantity, um, but I'm not going to just waste that map. But we'll go ahead and take a look at... Okay, well, I'm going to switch this because that I'm going to use for farming on actual maps. And what else do we have? Oh, I got two of those? Okay, we'll put that over here. And there. The nice thing about the new Watchstone system is... Invasion boss, I mean, that's not really that good, but um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, run it. Um, like I said, I don't really have that much more information. That pretty much teaches you how to craft easy maps. The one other thing is, is, say you got a mod on the map that is really bad for you, like say it's like Reflect or something like that, then you would just scour and you would start over. The thing is, the Regal only adds one one stat, um, so you have pretty big control over what's actually going to be on the map. This is still only a four, um, a four mod map, so... Oh wait, shit, did that change? Oh, alright, never mind. <laughs> I was like, I was like, no! That would have sucked. Because I think that's my only one of that map. I hate these shielders. Pruning a branch can save a tree. What boss are you? Doesn't matter, I'm gonna mess you up. Get next to each other. <laughs> The other thing that I'd like to also say is some maps are just inherently way harder than others. I am compiling a list that I will be going over of the best maps in the game for loot and for um, ease of ease of the map. Essentially, the most beneficial maps to be playing. Because there are some maps that just suck. They don't really offer much of anything other than doing it overdoing another map, yet their boss and metamorph bosses that they spawn are just super ridiculously hard, and there's really no reason to play them outside of just getting the completion. Just give him a little tappity tap, finish him off. God, you shields it. Your shields are so stupid. All right, well, eh, there's a little center section. Mm -hmm. Karen. 
see. Ah, oh, there's only two. Oh well. Going, buddy. Man, are you annoying? Did you run from me again? Get away from me. Oh, oh. Glitching. Well, that's the map. Um, I hope that the the map crafting uh, lessons are beneficial to you. Um, if you have trouble with the um, the metamorph bosses and don't want to fight them like I just did. I just put up a video on how you can do it deathless every single time. Um, so check that out. Pretty simple method. Um, so now you've got a way to craft easy maps that you can do to avoid mods that you don't want. And you've got a way to kill the metamorph bosses every single time without dying. So you should have a much easier time now um, advancing in the game and collecting your loot so that you can get better gear so that you can advance further. Anyways, peace out, guys. Guys, gals.